Okay, well I've finished fabricating the outside frame. This is what it looks like. Um, welded up three sides on this inside, top, and outside. This is 2 by 2 093 wall uh, EWR tubing. And clamped it down, welded it up. Uh, some of these welds aren't the greatest in the world, but it'll hold. Um, I ground them all down. Like I said, uh, inside edge, top, outside edge, all welded up. So my plan is to put some hinges on the front of the trailer here and over there, and the whole top will hinge up. Um, I'm going to put some air lift springs like you see on the hatchback of a car to uh, lift it up. Um, it probably weighs uh, 40 pounds, maybe. So um, I can lift it up with one arm. Um, so maybe a maybe a 30 or 40 pound airlift on each side on the inside to pop it up. And then uh, I've got some latches I'm gonna install to uh, keep it shut. And let me show you how it fits with the tailgate shut. So shut the tailgate. And there's barely a little overlap there. You can see maybe a quarter inch or so. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about keeping the water out of that edge. Um, haven't figured that out yet. It's not all that critical. Um, maybe put a piece of rubber weather stripping curled over. Keep the water from going in there. But... Um, and I did buy some weather stripping go between the, the bed and the, and the frame just to keep the air and water out. So um, my next step is to install some, some cross members here, maybe three of them. I'm going to use inch and a half tube, which I have a whole bunch of for the uh, go-kart project. Cut it to length to fit inside the rails there and then weld them up. Um, that is going to support the top so that when I set the top down it doesn't buckle down um, four of those across um, one in the center and, and two on uh, between those two so it should work screwed up. 
I uh, didn't get the top of the tube flush with the top of the frame, so I've got to break it loose and uh, try it again. slipping down. Damn it. Finally, success! Alright, now I gotta finish welding. 